Well, this morning, first responders from across Central Texas led a procession for the fallen nurse. KXC and Sophia Beausoleil followed that motorcade and spoke with one of Kristen's colleagues about her death. With every salute, tear, and sign of respect, it's hard not to notice the impact Starflight nurse Kristen McLean had on Central Texas. We call Kristen mom at Starflight because she's the one that directed everything. Her coworkers will tell you, over the past seven years, Kristen developed a reputation as not only a leader, but also an inspiration and an extraordinary athlete. She was one of the most driven, passionate, hardcore professionals I've ever been around. Friends like Chuck Spangler, a Starflight pilot, says Kristen was tough, but showed compassion for others, especially the patients she rescued. She's kind of somebody that's one of those bigger than life people that's beyond description. Which explains the pain friends, family, and first responders are feeling. They escorted the fallen nurse's body from the Travis County Medical Examiner's Office to a funeral home in Lakeway, the city where she lived. I can tell you right now, if Kristen we're standing here and she saw any of us moping or, or whining about this, she would literally kick us in the butt and say, get over it and get moving. So that's what they're doing, but we'll never forget her sacrifice and we'll forever remember the hero she was. Reporting in Lakeway, Sophia Beausoleil, KXAN News. Kristen McLean's funeral will happen on Friday morning. The service will be held at the Hill Country Bible Church at 11.30 a.m., there will be a procession before that for family and first responders. McLean died while working a rescue over the Barton Creek Greenbelt. We looked closer at how often emergency crews get called to handle cases in that area. And in 2012, EMS received 26 emergency calls to the Greenbelt. Nearly half of them required Starflight to assist. The numbers dropped in 2013, just 16 incidents, and only four of those needed Starflight. Last year, EMS reported 19 emergencies on the Greenbelt, with seven of them requiring Starflight help.